Hi, I'm Ed Hyland. I'm here with Joe Morgan from uh, Access Communication. We're going to be talking a lot about innovation. Joe has uh, got about 34, 35 years in the business. And uh, tell us a little bit more about you and about Access Communication. Yes, yeah, so as the um, segments development for critical infrastructure, I'm involved in the 16 critical infrastructure sectors. And energy, obviously, is the number one sector. So we develop solutions to make a smarter, safer world in the critical infrastructure arena. And we're here today at OTC as one of the many events that we exhibit at and uh, demonstrating some of our new sensors, cameras, that have additional value built into from a processing standpoint. So we focus on three areas. We focus on security, process or trend analysis using the same core competency, the same sensor with some things added to it, and also safety with analytics to detect, for instance, when someone's not wearing their hard hat in an area that should be. So what you can see behind us are uh, a genre of these sensors. And for that, I'm gonna hand it over to Jasper Olivia, who's the product manager for Explosion Protected from Sweden at Axis. Well, let's scoot on back here just a little bit so we can get Jasper into it. And uh, tell us a little bit uh, about uh, a keyword I heard just a moment ago was value. Tell us a little bit more about what you have to offer and, and how is it a value product now? So we tried to see uh, the use case for the, uh, for the customer and see how can we use our technology to give you a better value uh, on your site. For instance, with the smoke and fire detection, typically in a hazardous area, you don't want fire. And you can rely on the existing system with the EVAC system and smoke detectors, but why not use the camera and look at the beginning signs of smoke before it reaches the smoke detector. At one time, dollars were equated with quality. Now you're able to do this in a value-oriented way. Can you give us some thoughts on how you accomplish this? In hazardous areas, you need to protect your electronic devices. And traditionally, this, this has been done with the uh, stainless steel enclosure, which makes the products very expensive and not very, very often used because of the cost and uh, the issues in installing them. So we started looking at it from another perspective in, and look, based on the standards, how is a hazardous area divided into different divisions or zones and what kind of requirements do you have on the electronics or the protection of the electronics. So then we came up with a, a different approach than using a stainless steel enclosure, typically in this style with a very small camera certified for zone and division two, which covers most of the area of your hazard site to a much lower cost. And they are just as safe as the big stainless steel cameras for that particular area. Now, in, initially we were talking about the oil and gas industry, but um, the way you have configured them now and the way you're able to lower the price point is also of great value to other industries as well, is it not? Exactly. So we see uh, hazardous areas in food production, food processing, petrochemicals, agriculture, uh, pharmaceuticals. There are a lot of hazardous areas out in the industry, things you don't really think about. Sugar coating candy, for instance, is a hazardous area. You think of oil and gas, obviously it, uh, it can explode, but there are so many other industries where these, uh, these cameras can be used. Well, like the product, you can uh, innovate in other industries as well. And perhaps, Joe, you could kind of put a capper on this for us about what you're doing here at Access Communications. Yeah, so I think the, the, the key word is innovation. So we've looked at a core competency We've realized that we can get in more areas that have never been accessible before. We can put sensors embedded in the critical areas that can see things. It's, it's about the ones and the zeros, the data extraction, not only from an event that happens or an alarming, but the whole spectrum to be applied to AI so we can continue this automation phase. And it just it's an apparatus that, that is a, uh, essential for collecting data and connecting the dots. Joe, thank you so much. Jesper, thank you as well. And uh, when you're thinking uh, access communications, think innovation. Thanks for joining us.